Hello grade fives, I'm going to introduce to you a really important property today. It's called the distributive property. You're going to use it lots in the future, uh, both as you do more multiplication and also as you move into the world of algebra and bring letters into this distributive property is really important. So basically the idea behind the distributive property, at least when you're multiplying numbers, is what we want to do so in this case I got 15 times 8, is if you have a two-digit number, I want you to first write it in expanded form. So expanded form for 15 would be just 10 plus 5. And all I'm going to do is just put brackets around this just to show that these numbers are kind of together. Treat this as kind of together. So it's 10 plus 5 because that's just 15, and then we're going to multiply it by 8. So here's how the distributive property works, is you take that multiplication of 8 and you multiply both numbers in that bracket by it. And then the last thing you do is whatever you get, you add it up. So the beauty of this is this makes life pretty easy, because most of us can do this multiplication fairly well. Ten times 8 ends up giving us, so I'm just going to write that out, 10 times 8. And then the other thing we're going to do, we're going to add up whatever 8 times 5 is. So we have 5 times 8 or 8 times 5, doesn't make a difference. So the nice thing is this multiplication is usually pretty simple. 10 times 8 is 80. Plus, well what's 5 times 8? 5 times 8 is 40. 80 plus 40 is 120. So let's try another one of these. See if we can do this. So we've got 12 times 7. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with some two digit numbers. Remember the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break that two digit number up into expanded form. So that's 10 plus 2. We're going to multiply that by 7. Now, that 7, we're going to multiply it to both numbers. So we're going to get 10 times 7 plus, you can see the other one, 2 times 7. So now let's do those multiplication. 10 times 7, 70. 2 times 7, 14. Add them up, we get 84. So this is a really powerful thing and it just it ends up being our distributive property. But some of you might find all that kind of stuff kind of tricky. Okay, like oh expanding and multiplying each one. Well, I've got a picture form that I think you're going to find really nice. So here's the same kind of question. We got 16 times 7. Now, I'm going to write 16 in expanded form. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to write a 10, and then I'm going to put a line down, and I'm going to write a 6. Now, 7, I'm going to write on this side. And because there's only one number, I'm done. So here's kind of the neat thing. Watch this. 7 and 10 meet in that box. So what we do is we do 10 times 7 which gives me 70. Now here's the second box. 6 goes into that box. 7 goes into that box. 7 times 6 is 42. Now those two numbers that we just multiplied and made, the last thing we do is we add them up. So 70 plus 42 0 plus 2 is 2, 7 plus 4 is 11, so the answer is 112. Just to show you how neat this is, I'm going to do this in expanded form. So I'm going to break 16 up into 10 plus 6, and we're going to multiply it by 7. Now remember, distribute is just taking that multiplication to both parts of the expanded form. 10 times 7 is the first one, plus 
6 times 7. Watch this. 10 times 7 is 70. 6 times 7 is 42. Same two numbers here. Add them up, and we end up getting the exact same answer. So we've got two ways you can do this. we got picture form over here. Or over on this side, you might prefer using more what we call our symbolic form. Using those good old numbers and digits to do to your multiplication. Hope this helps. This is a really powerful tool.